Obviously, Marcus, the transfer window is finally shut. Obviously, the main talking point is obviously Omar moving to Wigan. Um, do you think it was a good bit of business for the club? And are you happy for Omar? Um, first of all, Omar, um, obviously, from a personal level, with Omar, absolutely delighted for his move. He, he's, he's wanted this. Um, and from the club's point of view, um, there was always going to come a time a club's going to put in a offer which starts discussions um, and, and there certainly was um, at board level between both clubs and then obviously um, a fee had been agreed between both clubs. Mm. Do you think Wigan is a good move for Omar where they are currently? I always said um, it was going to be, it'd have to be the right club, right manager, right fee, more importantly right fee and um, I believe and all parties believe now and um, that's been the case with Wigan um, and obviously the fees be met, um, the club's in the championship and I know that's where Omar wanted to move from here and in a manager in Warren Joyce they've got someone who track record is in development and Omar needs that in his next stage now, he still needs to develop, they're certainly, <laughs> they've, they've brought certainly a goal scorer. Um, and now his next stage of his de development it will be his all-round game and hopefully now um, he'll have that stage um, for him to excel. Yeah, I'm sure Solihull will be happy as well, won't they? Especially with him developing through the leagues as well. Yeah, um, they owe me a drink because um, yeah, I negotiated obviously the terms and the, and, and, and the sell-on as well. But obviously that... Um, obviously for a club like Sully or Moors and, and non-league clubs in general um, when they give the opportunity to players to move into the football league it's it, it's never about that first fee in my eyes it's always about giving them the opportunity um, because they're unproven giving them the opportunity hopefully they flourish and then they get their rewards um, just like um, Sully or have with the sale of Omar now to Wigan a lot of the fans will probably be a bit concerned, obviously top goal scorer and things like that. Um, what would you say to those fans that might be a bit worried about losing their top scorer? Obviously, he, you know, he was, he was the best centre forward in this league. And like you said, we, we had the privilege of having a league's top goal scorer. Um, but there was always going to be a time um, when another club comes knocking. And, and, and that's the case. So in terms of concerns, yes, you know, if you look, if you look... At the second highest goal scorer, I think someone told me this morning it's Andrew Boyce. I think um, so. Obviously, that needs to be addressed, but it it has been addressed in terms of the way we've been trying to evolve um, the group uh, and, and bring in certain players. You know, I had it at Sully Moors. You know, Omar Omar left, um, but we managed to be okay the season after. In fact, we we got promotion. Um, the season after after Omar left and he was a league top goal scorer then so um, for us we're working hard uh, like I said we're always trying to ever evolve the squad um, but obviously a player like Omar is always going to be missed yeah. but now um, it's up to others now uh, more importantly it's up to um, a group of players to take on that mantle Omar might have gone but you got two through the door last night starting with Sam Jones um, what can you tell us about him? Sam, uh, you know, obviously has been on the radar throughout this window um, and certainly uh, my time in management, I've, I've tracked his career. And again, he's one of those players, um, just like Omar, you know, we, we are getting players from the league below and they do come with a tag of being unproven. Um, but we see, enough of, we see enough in them to believe they can perform at this level yeah um, so he excites me um, and hopefully um, the fans fans will see see that as well what do you feel has got most to offer to the team first of all he's a goal scorer he scores goals I think if you look at his record from midfield it's impressive uh, so he plays a more advanced role in midfield um, so first of all goals he brings He's got a talent and a raw technical ability that he can play off the cuff. Uh, and again, that excites fans. Mm. He brings a utility to the group <laughs> because I've seen him in his time. I've seen him play every position. He's in the forward, in the 10, centre mid, 
right wing back. I've seen him play all over the pitch. Um, so we won't be using that with him, but having that utility obviously helps the group. And you'll see the size of him as well. He brings a physical aspect to the game as well. But, you know, the, the character is interesting as well. I, I haven't had the pleasure of knowing him as a person, but we spent some time at the hotel yesterday and we got to know each other. And um, I like his story. It, it's fascinating and very interesting. Um, and I, I can just see how excited he is to be here. Mm. Well, have you saying you've tracked his career since your time in management? Um, was it a deal that took its time to get over the line? Obviously, there was reports coming out that we was interested earlier in the window, and it took until deadline to go through. The deal came about really out of the blue with the Omar deal. To be honest, it was we had made our final offer into into Gateshead, and, and that was it really. And um, kind of the weekend just gone. Um, speaking to the board, it was business had been done. If we're being honest, and. Um, we had no indication of the Omar deal and like I said, myself and Omar walked off the training field yesterday um, and I went back, I went back home, which is the Humber Royal um, and it wasn't till about four o'clock that we got an offer from Wigan um, and then it was about six o'clock when we thought this could really turn into something serious. So. It was a mad rush. And the second for the door was Callum Dyson, who was coming from Everton. Um, how did you get to know about Callum? With bringing Gary Wald in, in terms of head of recruitment, um, we have to cover the under-23s. Uh, and between Gary, Mickey, myself and Waza, um, we get around all the country, um, and Jed Dane in the safe as well. So we cover as much 23 games as possible. Um, certainly since we've walked through the door um, so it got brought to our attention through Gary um, and again Mickey went and watched him and both of them liked what they saw and then I um, if I get that information back from those two it's then my duty then to go and watch him so I watched them on Monday night against Man United and Everton the top of the Premier League at the moment they've got a very talented group of 23s and you know, Callum was sought after. There was another two league clubs in for him, um, but I was speaking to Joe Raw um, again. I was pleased that Callum chose us and wanted to come to us because he kind of he knew we were watching him for some time, and that helps as well. Um, but like I said, it wasn't planned for this window. But good job we did go. Um, and we done our recruitment and we had it in place and we and we're watching these players because like I said the Omar absolutely happened out of the blue and it was a knock on effect of I think three clubs were involved in the Omar in terms of one club selling another club then buying it and honestly it was it was a domino effect and um, no please to have Callum on board um, he's a player's player he will um, the players will like having him in the building, and he he will he will benefit this team, uh, and the team will benefit him uh, by having him in. It's been a busy January. Now the transfer window's over. How would you sum it up for the club? For me, obviously the disappointment first of losing Omar, but we've got to look at it now. Um, and again, it's a story to be told that we can give non-league unproven players the opportunity to go on. And overall, it's been financially uh, a really good deal for us. Um, the supporters had some great memories of Omar, and we wish him well. No one at the end of the day will begrudge. Of course, we'd love to have had him now to the end of the season and and then wish him a bon farewell in the summer. Uh, but it wasn't to be. And more importantly, the player, you know, he really wanted this. And when that interest came, I would have hated to have seen Omar if he had to walk back through the door Thursday morning, to be honest. And we may have lost the player for the rest of the season um, because people are not aware of what he's been through. Um, so, credit due. But looking forward, I think we've really made some really sound um, signings. And, and the signings wasn't for this season. The signings were so we be can become an established Football League club again. And if you look at the signings, if you look at the ages of them, um, 
you look at the potential they possess, it certainly excites me, the squad moving forward, that we, we're getting a, a group now together, not only to be able to compete in this league for this season, but the season after, the season after that to become established, to become successful, and ultimately, it's everybody's wishes to get a promotion on the CV of this football club out of League Two. Yeah. The final thing is, you mentioned you wanted to spend deadline day with your mum. How's she doing? Yeah. Um, she's not happy, but she's pleased for Omar because, again, she watched Omar for the three years at Sully also. At one stage, you know, we're going to have a lovely meal at the Humber Royal. Um, and then the next, I'm sitting with Sam Jones having a meal and I've took my mum into bed, so um, she's not happy. <laughs>